Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. And I'm Dustin. And we're about to take a look at the official trailer for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. We actually talked about this on our live streams, which we do every Wednesday and Saturday at 2 p.m. PT. Um, Jessica Chastain stepping into the role of Tammy Faye. Andrew Garfield is playing her first husband, something Baker. Baker. Jonathan uh, Baker? Jim, Jim Baker. Oh, so Got close. the J part right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look. We, it's Jessica Chastain said in an interview with People Magazine that she like studied for research for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. for so this, this, this movie has been in the, or in, at least in the talks of being made Yeah, and I want to say she's also serving as a producer on this as well, I think. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. Hello, mother. This is Jim Baker, my husband. <laughs> oh, boy. So I love the eye roll. Anyone who's hurting or they feel like they've been left out, God has a plan for us. What did he tell you to do this today? Jesus keeps a tick in me fire and fire. Jim will preach, and I'll sing. Oh, wow. God does not want us to be poor. Oh, yeah. huh. Does it call a pleasure? Now God has a voice in this fight. Who's he fighting? Liberal agenda, homosexual agenda. I think there's a political. You can't talk to him like that. Jimmy Falwell's a powerful man, Tammy Faye. She's uh, a firecracker, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if everyone watching could double their pledge just for one month. Oh, wow. He really, he really does. Just the chest thing's really transformative. We're not doing anything wrong, though. Is that a question? <laughs> Tammy and I are undergoing the most vicious attacks. Serving that don't feel like it should be a money-making opportunity. When I saw that clipping with my face on it, I thought for a second that you were proud of me. Oh, Tammy Faye, you follow blindly. In the end, all you are is blind. <laughs> I just want to love people. The devil's coming. No, not at shot. all. Whoa! Wow! I think just I think her research paid off. She doesn't yeah. even sound like herself. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! This looks like a. Oh, it's one of those documentaries that just really does a good job on sucking you in because the actors are so invested, are so in, are so uh, just emoting this character so well. Yeah, they are, uh, and also for. Um, for Andrew Garfield, you know, playing Jim Baker there, it's hard for me to look at his face and like be like, "You're a bad guy," because he's it just got he's got that kind of like the Tom Holland thing too. It's like hard to picture Tom Holland playing a bad guy because yeah, he just, yeah. just looks so nice and like trustworthy. But I guess maybe that's part of the pull as well, and that's you know, Tammy fell for him maybe for the same reason. And then later they kind of made her the the what is it called the scapegoat of it all. Yeah, like he's the one that did all that stuff, but then she had to suffer through all the... I mean, granted, she probably made... I don't know the full story, but it's looking like she kind of fell in with it, thinking they were doing the right thing. Maybe they were not even kind of questioning, but at the end of it all, it fell on her to be the scapegoat, and the media kind of just went after her. That's, yeah. well, that's what it's looking like. I don't think I'm old enough to really remember Tammy Faye, other than, like, that one shot with, like, the more flashy eyeshadow. Like, I kind of maybe remember seeing that on TV, but honestly, I don't know. So if you guys, you know, growing up, remember seeing any of this in the news, let us know what you think of Jessica Chastain's portrayal of Tammy Faye, um, as well as Andrew Garfield and, and his take on uh, on Jim Baker. And I, I certainly want to read up just a little bit more. Yeah, because I don't story. remember any don't of remember, this story. I think and we're too young. I think it's always really cool to see movies on, like, events, kind of like what happened to um, um, uh, Tammy... Um, 
sorry, my apologies, Nate. Um, the girl that got her knee bashed out <laughs> for the ice skater. Oh, Nancy Kerrigan? Like Nancy, like... Oh, the, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya Harding. That's what I was thinking. Tanya Harding. She did the... Well, she didn't physically do it. The, the people went and did it, but... Yeah. But it's one of those stories that, you know, it happens in a certain generation. So there's going to be a lot of people who are like, wait, I never heard about this. Well, of course we don't remember. This was in the 70s and 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we were way too young. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, so they were... Uh, they begin from humble beginnings to create the world's largest religious broadcasting network and theme park? What theme park did Wait, they create? what? Is it Holy Land? Probably not. No, I don't think so. That wow, would... interesting. Now I want to find out what theme park they made. Yeah, really. No, the the transformation uh, that Jessica Chastain uh, went under for, for this role is incredible. I see perhaps Oscar nods for either her acting and probably hair and makeup. Yeah. Uh, because she really doesn't look like herself and it's really incredible. Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.